this group is potentially very dangerous. Uh, of course, uh, the Boko Haram uh, group is a group that became a transnational terror group, and it didn't do that until after it had operated for many years uh, and, and uh, had gathered experience and arms and money through kidnappings and other methods. This one is not up to the level of Boko Haram in terms of sophistication and lethality and their experience and their connection and even the number of fighters. But they are potentially very, very dangerous because, number one, they are already establishing strongholds in the Northwest, uh, uh, in the Northwest especially in uh, Tangaza and Gudu local governments of uh, Sokoto State, but also some parts of Chebi State. And right now, the information we are getting is that they are operating in five local governments. And I can tell you some of my interviewees are very informed. And they tell me, one of them told me that there is a local government in Sokoto, good local government. He says you cannot travel five kilometers outside the state, uh, the local government capital without, uh, without um, meeting Laokurawa, encountering Laokurawa on the way. And he says all the villages surrounding the local government headquarters are under the control of the group. Because as we speak, they are serving as judges for local people. If you have a local problem, you have a dispute with your neighbor, you report to them because they have forbidden traditional rulers from intervening in any dispute that is brought to them. And traditional rulers have no option but to obey them because they would kill them if they don't uh, obey their instructions. And especially in farmer harder crisis, today if farmers have their uh, farm encroached by uh, herders, they report to the Laokurawa, and the Laokurawa summon the parties, adjudicate the dispute and order compensation against those that they, they find wanting. There are members of the community whose, uh, whose cattle is stolen by bandits report to the Laokurawa, and the Laokurawa intervene on their behalf to fight the bandits, to, fight, uh, to, to collect their uh, they are cutting back uh, for them. And in exchange, today the Laokurawa are levying taxes in communities in Sokoto and Kebi State, especially against hiding communities. They stop you, they, pipe, they count your cattle, and they ask you if it belongs to a politician or a government official, they confiscate the whole of it. If it belongs to an individual, they charge taxes uh, in percentages and then leave you to go. Now, they also, uh, I mean, enforce other rules. For example, there are POS uh, uh, machine operators in uh, some of the villages that recently were punished by this group because the group said they were charging. <laughs> Mr. Loki, a Hyagona at Dona Lagos. As a security expert, I want you to help us demystify this uh, new terror group. I'm talking about Lakurawa that have uh, emerged and is wrecking havoc in Sokoto and Kabi. We understand that the government have been dealing with the issue of uh, Boko Haram, Iswab, Killer Hensman, name it. And now we are seeing a new terror group. Of course, this is not a group. Um, and is it time for the military who before now have been seen have been overstretched? What do you think are the implications of this for our society and our democracy? Uh, thank you very much. When I had Ministry of Defense Formation coming out to say we have a new group, La Kasawa, what was the name? And uh, I, I, I was so shocked that this is our ministry, they are not professionals. Now, I tried to go down and find out. And when I look, investigate, I found out that these people have been there more than five years or six years. If some group can be there for five years, six years, where we have intelligence, we have NSA, we have a, a, a EFCC, we have a, a SSS, we have DSS, we have all manner of uh, security. They couldn't discover and they have been operating. It took time for the governor or the community to come out. I said, There's a group collecting tasks, collecting everything in that place. And the military is coming out to say, A new group in March. Why don't you trade with them? 
before you come out and say, I said that I don't knew that I've been there. One five years now, six years, they have been operating that place. They might have, have gotten roots. They might have, root, have been rooted in the society. I said, what do you expect? If the government you have are not giving the community what they needed, like water, electricity, do you think the government or the people will give the government information? They were there for practices, according to the news. And it just now the military is coming out to tell us. Anyway, I think uh, uh, what we need is, is to let the military know is that, look, this time around, we are tired of hearing all this uh, uh, information. Go and dead with them and come back and say, look, there's a group we ca who came out. They want to form this. We have dead with them. We keep them, we keep 20. And don't forget, they, we just lost uh, the powerful general. And at the end, there was still money. And another thing is that, so for our ministry, man, look them in uh, Bonny Camp in Lagos. Why don't you deploy them to some of this village and go and help them? They are rather leaving the criminal to mark the push, take care of the people, give them peanuts. And who did they believe? They believe the mini criminals. Sort of believe the, the government. Uh, 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 Look, if I may ask, as a security expert, why do you think our security agencies are getting strong? Because in terms of funding, they are getting the adequate funding needed to fight insurgency. So why do you think we are getting strong as a people, they as a country? Getting, they are not getting what they want. In terms of what? They are not getting types of uh, financial. They don't take care of them. Uh, well, you know here when the military, whether sergeant or inspector, who said uh, to, for him to travel to Calabar, how much are they paying him? They got almost 35000 out of 60000 How much do you to buy? Bag of rice and all that. So they don't take care of them. I think those money it go to their their boss. So what they're supposed to have done, if the federal government can be paying it directly, I think it's better. They don't pay them very well. Look at the way they are living. Look at the food. Look at the soup. Can you compare a copra in America to a spectrum in Nigeria here? You said that we are just we are making money, but the money is not getting down. What do you expect them to do? That's why you see when you keep them gone. To go and fight the insurgents. To run away. They have to run for their life. If they die, I don't think God may have good thing for them to take off the family. So, what we need is to approach. Let every state, every region, protect their people, manage their resources, so that they can be able to pay their soldiers, police, and whatever in their state. Not taking money for Niger data, go and start paying soldiers in the north. Be not. Are you saying they should reject the security architecture and uh, vulcanize it such that each region, each state yeah. will have their own security outfit? It is the best. So that whatever Zamfara produce, they have gold. They can be able to pay their security very well. And the Scott people, they know the place, they know the terry. Not somebody from Bayosa who go and start politics, somebody from Urobi. My brother doesn't know the crown. They're going to work. He will just sit in the office where the, 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 the criminals operating the village just like what happened in Sampara, Neduguri. So that's the only way. All this uh uh thirty thousand I mean thirty thousand I mean go nowhere. Don't forget the governors we collect half of it ten percent the minister ten percent anyway they are go they go with army and also army so I think that's the solution all this uh uh that in my village we have scouting network who is politically the bush I mean. So allow them to work, pay them very well. You see, they will do more than the military. You don't buy, you see, buying weapons. So this is solution. Okay. Lastly, as a security expert, what would be your advice to government, to the military in particular, that is faced with this uh, um, challenge of confronting this terror? What would be your advice to them? Since 1999, we have been having problem of this terror. What do we do? The only advice I would give is Tunubu should sit with the Senate, House, Mesa, Governor, and said, look, which way Nigeria? Let regional control their resources and pay 10% so that the state can be able to take care of their police, army, security. If not so, we keep repeating. Every government that come, we have your share. Like during a uh, 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 time, we have all this uh, metastasis odyssey. During the uh, good luck time, we have uh, Boko Haram. During the Buhari uh, time, we have bandit, kidnapper, Boko Haram. Turubuna, Kassarawa has come in again. So, 
the only best way advice is government to make sure that regional produce what they have and pay 10 percent to federal government so they can be able to pay security they'll be able to do this not getting one source and take it to the nation is not going to be enough